something kind of simple and brings you back to your basic human nature when the power goes out. You know what I mean? What's going on? Oh my gosh. We saw a ginormous transformer explosion out there and it turned like a whole section of the sky purple. So since there is nothing else to do, maybe I'll just sit here and chat a little bit with you guys about what's been going on in our life. A few days ago, Alex broke out in this rash. You dust that part of your brain off and you're like, oh yeah. I put the pro in procrastinate. I feel like I'm probably kind of a minority in our culture about hating them all, but I hate them all. <laughs> What's your favorite part of dance? Eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> So we have a huge windstorm brewing outside and the lights have been flickering on and off. We may lose power. I'm gonna come in here behind the curtains and see. Oh, and the power just went out. You probably can't even see that it that wind is just whipping away out there. Well, we have this little candle here, this fake candle. Good thing that was on. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I caught the power going out on camera. Everything is better now for me. <laughs> Everything is better now for you? Because the power went out and you're excited about that? I remember when the power went out when I was a kid. Man, that was exciting stuff. <laughs> Where'd you go, Sophie? Oh, there you are. There's something kind of simple and brings you back to your basic human nature when the power goes out, you know what I mean? We still have hot running water, thankfully, but we don't have any electricity. We don't have electronics. What do you think, Lucy? Yeah, you can't touch it, but you can look at it. Yeah, that's a candle. Yeah, a candle. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> uh, the power went out. The power went out. This is how I remember it when I was a kid. When it was so exciting when the power went out. I thought it was the greatest thing ever. And we're starting to enter that phase now, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! Woo! And we've got little dollar store lanterns, actually. These things, I tell you. There's great stuff at the dollar store. I got these little lanterns. A dollar each, obviously, for camping and for emergency purposes. So here we are. Well, next time when I go camping, I use this light. Okay. It'll probably be out for a while, though, because we saw a ginormous transformer explosion out there, and it turned, like, a whole section of the sky purple. <laughs> so we probably will be out of power for a little while, at least. It'll probably come back on when we're asleep or in the morning. Hopefully it won't be off longer than that. Because it's fun when it's out for a little while, right? But if we start having it out for several days, then it starts to become a problem because we have like a freezer full of meat and things like that. So let's hope this is just short-lived and fun more than anything, huh? I like the storm. I want to be a storm every day. You want there to be a storm every day. We're sitting here by candlelight in the rocker. And it's still not quite bedtime yet, so we're just, we're hanging out, just spending some time together, huh? I'm going to open up the window so you guys can hear the wind. It's still going out there. Okay, all the way. We don't want to let all the cold air in. So the storm is in full swing still. So since there is nothing else to do, maybe I'll just sit here and chat a little bit with you guys about what's been going on in our lives. Since I haven't been vlogging a whole lot the last few weeks, we have all been sick. Sick, sick, sick. <laughs> I've had this nasty, nasty chest cough crud for almost a month now. I was the first one to get it. And then about a week or so after that, 
Alex got it, and then Sophie got it, and now Teo has it, and so we've had this thing going on for the better part of a month, but the kids have been especially sick the last week or two and have been staying home from school and that kind of thing. We've also had another sickness on top of that where we all got this really sore throat and it seems like some other kind of virus or cold on top of this other chest thing we've had. Thankfully, Bill hasn't gotten it, so that's nice. And then a few days ago, Alex broke out in this rash. And at first it was just on his face and the back of his hand. And at first I was like, oh, I hope this isn't hand, foot, and mouth. But it never went to like the palms of his hands and like the soles of his feet and his, there was nothing in his mouth. So we don't think it was that. He also never had a fever. So from all the research I did on that, I don't think it was hand, foot, and mouth. But for three or four days now, maybe even five days now, like his rash has been getting worse and worse and poor kid. We finally gave him Benadryl tonight because he said it was itching so bad. And I actually, we took him to a walk-in clinic and the first doctor we saw there said, oh, it's probably eczema. And then I was like talking to my mom groups about it and they're like, oh, well, if he was sick before, it's probably a viral rash. Like my kids get that after they have a cold and that kind of thing. I was like, well, it's probably that. And then I had a doctor's appointment a couple days ago and I showed a picture of it to our primary care physician and she's like, yeah, that looks like a viral rash, like the moms in my mom group had said. Anyway, so we've just been dealing with the crud and it's that time of year and thankfully with this cough, like it's made us a little low energy, but it like for the most part, we don't feel that sick. So that's good. I mean, I've still been able to mostly function with a few extra naps here and there. Um, it's not like it's completely knocked me down or anything, and there hasn't been any fever involved with it, so... Although Sophie, the other day, stayed home because she did have a fever, but thankfully that was just a one-day thing, so... We've just had all sorts of fun things going on. Fun times, fun times. Life with three small children, right? So, you probably saw my Christmas decor video that I put up. I think there's something about having small kids that... I mean, I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me on this, but it rekindles that uh, wonder of Christmas again. I remember there were several years in my 20s when I kind of had a bah humbug attitude. I was just like, ah, it's so much materialism and I just can't stand all of the honey sweet cheeriness <laughs> and everything. But now that I have small kids, I'm like, oh yeah, the magic of it when you're a little kid, it's coming back to me now. It's like that you dust that part of your brain off and you're like, oh yeah, Christmas is pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, the kids are really excited for Christmas and I think that their enthusiasm has motivated me this year and I am more on top of things now than I usually am. I actually got all of my Christmas shopping done by the first week in December. I am usually, I put the pro in procrastinate <laughs> and so I was like really proud of myself that I had all my Christmas shopping done and also thanks to online shopping because I hate, I hate, 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 hate them all. I feel like I'm probably kind of a minority in our culture about hating them all, but I hate them all. And I avoided at all costs and I managed to do all my shopping without going to the mall and without really going to any store except Target one time. And I went at night after the kids were in bed and it wasn't busy at all. So win-win, I got it all done online. And another, uh, another thing I've been trying to do this year is just as I am feeling inspired for things that the kids might like throughout the year, I just order them from Amazon and I just stash them away in my little hidden stash. Then I just save them for Christmas time. So, or birthdays or whatever the next event is. And that has worked out really well this year because that works much better with the way my brain works. Like, I have a really hard time like trying to force myself to feel inspired about gifts the week before Christmas <laughs> and then having to do the rush and just doing the pressure and all that. So it works much better for me to just feel inspired when I'm in actually inspired throughout the year and order it and just have it ready for when the time comes. You gonna come back and sit with me? Mommy's still vlogging a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting sleepy. Is your sickness getting better? Mm -hmm. You still have a little bit of a cough, but you seem to be feeling better, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be ready to go to bed here real soon. I also got our Christmas card done when we were on our little trip 
to Port Angeles, which I have on our November vlog, which I will link here. It's such a beautiful place there, and I was really intentional about wanting to take our, our Christmas photo, because I don't really have a good family picture of all five of us, and I haven't really gotten one since Teo was first born, and so, um, I was really happy. I will insert it here. We're doing what did we get out of the attic? The wrapping paper. We got the wrapping paper. It's another thing that I am actually starting to be on top of this year. It's like I'm never this on top of Christmas, you guys. This is really bizarre for me. <laughs> we stayed up like all night last year wrapping the night before Christmas. So our goal is to not do that again this year so we can be a little more awake and alert on Christmas Day and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> we'll probably make another vlog on Christmas. So stay tuned for that. At Christmas, will we sleep in that bed? Well, you'll sleep in your bed. And you'll have to be sound asleep, right? So that Santa can come. Yeah. He knows when you are sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. <laughs> They'll always jokingly says it's the uh, song of the CIA. <laughs> and on that note, we will see you next time. Bye guys. Say bye. 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 The storm going over the neighborhood. The monsters are powers are going out. Our powders are, our power are going out. We have what's Wrapping presents in the afternoon, and the day has come, heaven have ended. The boom and thunder and Saint Echo. Is that it? Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> I just love your little song, Sophie. I got these decorations for our wall earlier this year, and they have these little tea lights in them, and they are actually coming in handy right now and they look kind of pretty. It is now the morning after the huge windstorm and the kids are out helping daddy clean up the aftermath. There are little branches all over the yard. Teo is done for his nap and now I am going to take a nap. Hashtag winning. Are we ready to see Christmas lights? Gotta get to that one. <laughs> yeah. We got a full car with grandma in the back there too. with electronics. Chipmunks version. Chipmunks.
such a good oh, job, sweetheart. I can hear you. I'm so Mama. proud of you. Yeah, you want to get some treats? You gotta be very careful with this because it's glass, but that's the ornament that your new dance teacher gave you. Wasn't that so nice of her? I think her new ornament on our tree. Isn't it so nice of them to give all the kids their own ornament? There we go. What's your favorite part of new dance? Eating cookies. Eating cookies. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you like your new dance class and your new teacher. I like her a lot, too. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> and I'll roar up this way, and then you roar! roar! <laughs> <laughs> now we go roar! I'm getting hoarse. Doing roar! <laughs>